we're here on a bright and no it's not bright and sunny it's a miserable Tuesday morning actually uh, so I'll show you around the shop and give you a bit of an update as to what has or has not happened since the weekend so I've cut myself another lid out of the stainless sheet for this tank here which is a fermenter we've been inside and around the edges and we've pickled the whole thing and Oh, she's just come up lovely. She's come up lovely. I'm just going to go in there with a brass or stainless steel brush and tidy it up. We've started to put some paint on this wall. This is the colour I think we're going to go for. I'm not sure though because it's dry and patchy. So, second coat, revisit it. We shall see. We shall see how it comes out. If we have to change it, we have to change it. Uh, Stu's also been working on the... Uh, roof braces, giving them a coat of paint. The trouble with the white is all of the water stains previously show through so we need something on top of them that's going to hide it a little bit and grey is a good colour for hiding splashes and bits of muck and stuff like that. And then yeah we got that lid on, I think we're going to keep that lid for the HLT, that'll probably do the job and I'm not going to revisit the lids for everything else in terms of polycarbonate or acrylic until I've played with these stainless steel lids for one reason and that is I want to weld some spray ball connectors into the centre of the lid and of course if we've got perspex then I'd have to put some type of bulkhead fitting on there to hold it in which I don't want to do because it's going to harbour yeast and crap and that kind of stuff so a bit more work on the lid, a bit more work on this tank. The varnish works nicely, there's a bit of water on there. Look, it's not soaked in at all. So I'm pleased with that. And yeah, my plan is today, get the lid sorted out on this HLT, see if we can get the spray ball section set up, and then I'm gonna drop some caustic in her, if we've got time, and we'll start to clean it and see how she comes out. Then we've got one tank that we know is gonna be ready to go. a nice little RJT fitting in the centre so what I'm going to do is make up something similar to this but just with a half inch snap lock fitting on the inside and then when that sits on the top of there that will be on the inside of the tank and then we can connect providing that that's deep enough actually I might have to put a socket on then we connect this spray ball now this is an old spray ball that I had for my old kit but I will be changing these out in the future for rotating spray balls. I found some rotating spray balls which I'm going to use. So uh, this will do for now. So we'll just pop him on the inside of here. I might actually change this and put a little bit of a BSP socket on there so we've got a bit more, a bit more depth because I'm concerned that once we get the snap lock on the underside. Yeah, I won't be able to engage the snap lock mechanism, so I'll just pop a, a socket on there to to extend that down a little bit. And then I only wanted to use this one because it was a dodgy one. Look, that it's got no it's got no threads inside. So I wanted to swap it out for. Uh, I wanted to use it up because I can't thread it on anything. But we'll put a threaded one on and we'll stick a threaded socket in there and we'll weld the socket onto here and then when we put that on we have an extra you know what I mean so it's a bit like that that on there that in there and then spray ball on there like witty woo like wit
So I've given her a test run. Gemma's just fetching a jug so we can put some caustic in there. And the lid is adequate. It's not great. There are a few reasons why it's not great. One of them being, can you see between that clip there, sort of there, and that clip there, it raises up slightly. That's gonna be an issue because we do get a little bit of water coming out. Can you see the little bit of water squirting out? So I've got an idea. I think I'm gonna revert back to a little bit more that style, but instead of having box section like uh, angle line like that, I'm going to make something out of box section and have little brackets that they clip into, and then all of them can be used in that respect to uh, tighten tighten the lids down. I think that's where we're going to go from here, but maybe not immediately. This will do. This will do for now. There we are. We are cleaning our first fermenter. Having its first caustic rinse. We've got the old pump kicking the juice into the top of the tank. Research's been on for a while now. The tidy up hasn't been too grand. I'm just going to show you inside the tank. I have to cup hold of this nice and tight. Oh, we're steaming up. Stu's here, he's been to the old sailors in the bottle shop and the windows are up at Dave's, so call it a day for today in the unit. It's quarter past four. We'll go and pick these windows up. Once I've got these windows in, then we can start to dress that side of the unit and pull all of the uh, tank and equipment across there, knowing that we don't have to get back in. been a Dave Dixon windows to pick up the uh, the glass go back to the unit for Chris to fit it and me to supervise I like to say my supervisor skills are on par do you agree they are mate yeah yeah you're good at supervising but not a deal else stand around and do fuck all are you, are you hanging about to fit him then I'm no not take me an hour to go him in I mean, honestly, it won't. Not taking out to get them in. It's getting them out. That's the hard bit. If I could pass you down them bits of glass. Means doing work. That does. Maybe. Maybe I'll stay. How much are you gonna pay me? <laughs> well, we're back. The time is five o'clock. I'll just double check. Five oh one. I'm gonna go ahead and do these. I've decided. Provided, of course, that they fit in the hole. So we're just gonna quickly measure the width, which is eighteen eighty. And then we've got 2010 on the height of these. Oh, which is perfect. Gives us a 10 mil buffer all the way around. Just what the doctor ordered. I'll pull these protective corner caps off. Right, we're just gonna pop a little bit of stupid glue on the end of these sills and put the sill caps on. There we go. This is a bit of activator.
Right, we have got the windows in, folks. It is quarter to eight, just about. It's not all plain sailing, though, like a twat. I managed to crack that one. Can you see it? But I'm sure Dave will change it for me because he's good like that, he is. So we're going to sign off and we'll have an update in the morning. I think that's enough of that. We'll see you tomorrow.